So, welcome back. We are in Pablo's hideout once again. Pablo's next. Uh, he is hoping, though, that he'll be more willing to cooperate than Bob was. Um, oh, that's good. Um, everything else should be fine. Okay. Um, oh, I actually should have encrypted uh, the Tango. So essentially, um, this level is pretty much the same. You can walk through them. What? This level is pretty much the same. Wait, what the fuck? Um, there are a few guys you can take out, uh, which is nice for us because it just means we have less things we have to worry about. Okay, let's see if I need to know when the dude is coming up. Because that dude there is the main start of the pain. We're not using slow-mo once, because uh, that is one of the challenges. Okay, so like previously, uh, we're just going to save here. Uh, that's why we hate life. They can see the tiniest pixel of our arm. I just got a ruler to literally, like, do a line. <clears throat> they no fuck can only see literally, like, three pixels of our arm. I don't know why it's running a bit poorly. They removed the person from down here, which I think is a general good idea. It was way too annoying having to bounce around him and the other person. Right there is the weapon we want. <clears throat> Off. Uh, 
I don't like that there's two guys here though, because this was the hard part already. No shot. No shot. Oh, fuck. He looks way better in this portrait than the previous one. Good job, guys. Good job, art department. Oh, fuck. Not you, not now. Hey, 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 lighten, lighten up this time. I'm not the bearer of grim news. What do you want, Gideon? Your cooperation, of course. You do what I tell you when I tell you. In exchange, you stay alive and get paid handsomely. No, no way. Feeling lucky? I've still got to leave this place. And believe me, it wasn't easy getting here. Do you want me to leave a mess? For fuck's sake, man. No, that's Brazilian. For fuck's sake, man. No, I think the man is too Brazilian. Um, For fuck's sake. Man, is that your diplomacy? Do as I tell you or make your life hell. You don't have a choice, you poet. Fine, as long as I get paid. And if I, and if you don't, what will you do then? Ugh, fuck you. That's what I thought. We'll stay in touch. That's it for today, boys. Pablo was a cooperative and a pleasure to do business with. Great, for once you didn't leave us a mess to mop up. The night is still young. <laughs> Chill, boss. Just get back here, okay? We're waiting for you. But how do I know he will cooperate? That, I think, honestly, that should have been an achievement. Die because of that. Um, okay, so there's no one in here. Presumably. Uh, if we go to the tilt key, we go to the taser. Okay, awesome. We can... I think here will be fine. It's interesting that he's in this area because this is kind of like the main pathway that you go. If I turn off this. Awesome, he just doesn't see me. Um. So now the interesting part of this is that I want to get back and I want to do it in a way where I, one, grab the new sniper rifle, uh, I just, like, mentally, I just wish that, like, the game, like, you could just shoot. I wish in this game with guns, you could actually fire your weapon and it would hit the enemy. You know, 
like in every game. Ever. I just wish that that worked, you know? I call bullshit on that, but we're gonna see if we can even open this. So we need the armory key card for that. So we're gonna have to reset to last uh, save. So literally, I think this is actually the best way that they could have done it. I do think that Pablo's was a bit too, um, a bit too much in a lot of ways. Yeah, no, we could have definitely gone to the bathroom in that time. If we get punished hard, that's like our fault. Yeah, no, we got punished hard. That was our fault. I should have just uh, known to go a bit balls to the walls there. It's interesting when the patrol routes seem to change just that little bit. Whew. What do you mean you saw me? That's the one thing I will always hate about this game is like it's the only thing that's annoying is when they don't fucking close the door behind them. Have some common courtesy for fuck's sake and close the damn door. Because it literally makes the game impossible when they don't do that. Um, we only have two save files, so I'd rather... Like, see what I mean? Like, can... There we go. Like, it just takes forever for the door to get closed. And now we're gonna get spotted by that guy, because... Fuck my life. Ugh, God, I hate this mission. It's just like everything is placed too annoyingly is the problem I have with it. Where it, you can't relax and have fun because if you do you get punished. Heavily punished too. It's not like you just like, oh you know, it, it's just a little harder. Oh no. It's like no you have to restart. This guy's way too fast. The guy up there. I feel like I should have put an extra little bit of stuff in here just to be like, really good job getting here. Okay. See what I mean? Close door, please. I don't know why it does this, but like the door just doesn't fucking close. I think honestly, if they just removed this one guy, the level would be fine. This this one person needs to not be sitting there. If they made him sit, like, window facing forward or something, it would work better. But like, look at this door. It literally just doesn't close. What am I meant to do? Like, just close the door, game. It's not really fair on me as a player. I 
I think it's. I think what the I, this is a glitch, and I think they haven't fixed it yet. It's caused by um, you fix it by closing or opening a door. We almost just ruined our entire run. We only have one save file left. Okay. I'm not gonna talk shit on this game, but fuck this game. No shot, he opened a door and then said, Why is this open? I might have to get spy on this one. No, it's. I think it's literally just that, like. Yeah, my brain is making me think things because it's annoyed about uh, this level. Wow, that time it just fucking worked. Crazy how sometimes doors can get closed. I think I'll never not be annoyed about that. I hate when you co turn a corner and you just don't have any movement speed. Major pet peeve of mine is when you don't have any little... Yeah, see? The doors are linked. Um, and the way I think this came through testing was they were like, Oh, well, we always go into the bathroom anyway, so... It works. Because, you know, I go through the bathroom and then the door closes. Kind of cucking me, honestly. Um, so we want to get to there. Because that has schematics and shit. And then that allows us to... Well, that allows us to escape. So the way that I see this is that we want to...
I thought I had the multi launch multi launch chair. Um, maybe. They aren't actually linked. That's my concern right now, is they're not actually linked. I just think that they are because I'm dumb. I swear, they made this impossible, I'm gonna get actually mad. I think they made this impossible, because this guy moves too fast now. What's the deal with Lintravenous Mercenism? I love when movement speed is bad. Okay, this time he just didn't see me. I wish that the game was just good. I really do. I wish that Pablo's wasn't changed ever so slightly to be a cock. Alright. <sighs> this is what happens when you want to have fun, is you, you play a video game and the video game like, oh, well, you didn't perfect every little intricate, like, fuck face thing that we, uh, we, we accidentally had in this game. Why is the door not closing? We programmed this door to never close because we actually just fucking hate people. Great idea. So this part here, we're going to make this, so this uh, this makes it so then people are hidden. But then what we're going to do is we're going to make it that if you try to hide there, you get fucked immediately. Because you should not, you shouldn't try to hide in a stealth game. That's dumb. You don't hide in stealth games. There we go, the door closed. Crazy how it looks like my feet are showing on the camera, and like that doesn't get me caught. But if I'm standing right here in a fucking corner, the camera is like, no, got him.
At this point, I'm just gonna save it here because fuck this. This guy is meant to be over here when this guy comes around. Reasons why we save part one. it every single time I play this for the first time it's just painful Like, look at that. What am I meant to do? Literally, I go to the place and I'm like, cool, I can get in. No, fuck you, kill yourself. We actually have a fucking guard there. Like, what am I meant to do? Am I just meant to be God? Am I literally just meant to be like, I control all matter in the universe? Fuck you, kill yourself. No, that's not how life works. God, this level is infuriating. Oh. And it shouldn't be this annoying either. It's literally the second level of the game. This literally is where you're meant to meet him originally. And then they're like, no wonder they changed it. If like, I, what happens, what, what has happened though, the only reason why this is so hard is they've changed the speed of these guards a little bit. And it makes it so then it's super fucky. Like, yeah, okay, I could have looked up here. But being like, okay, so these guards are totally out of sync, but then in sync, but then out of sync, but then in sync. You have to time that up uh, with this, which, you know, you just have to hope that you're not seeing... This, does this guy seriously not go up here anymore? That guy, that guy, I guess the reason why is because it was too hard for players. Um, then have him go in the bathroom for a bit. You can't fuck with someone's pathing to the point where it makes them feel ridiculous. The annoying thing is, is I don't have any saves now. I'm honestly thinking that this was a total mistake, like, getting over here.
me, thank God. I like how you can tell when I'm really annoyed is because I just I'm literally zero visibility literally last time I did this and you were just like there's nothing there so why is it that this time you're like no there's something there just shut up with the inconsistencies I don't care who you are, I deserve, like, a Nobel Prize for that performance. I know that's not even, like, what I would get, but, like, that's kind of what I deserve. But goddamn! Whew, that was rough. This level, though, has, like, if you're going for more shit, it is easily so much worse. Uh, now that I have those documents, uh, I'm playing on true, so, because that's like the mode I like to play. Um, it means now I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to try to get all the achievements on true, uh, via true, rather. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So, that weapon there is for sure, like, a new weapon. Dun, dun. 
da 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 Ah, oh, so this is a lock, okay. Whew, 33 minutes of pain. 4,000 more money, though. That's really nice. Um, good amount of stealth. Uh, I do think that Pablo's hideout... If you're playing it uh, normally and you're not going for the extra shit, um, probably better. It's probably a lot nicer for a lot of people. However, if you watched my video of Pablo Hideout Masochist on the beta, uh, that level really didn't need changing. Uh, if it was like how it handled it there with all the new changes to movement and such, yes, there would have been problems. Uh, which is why I think that they moved him down more, and then maybe in the in Travenous 2 they'll keep it the way that the beta had it, because the way that the beta had it was literally perfect. Um, it was a great, like, either you have to stealth it, or you have to take out a few guys kind of thing. Um, but just the way that it was handled in this one, I think is really bad. Uh, once you're going for the armory. Just that entire area, it still has the little, like, quirks. Uh, that annoy me. The door not closing sometimes is a major pain. And to fix that, they could have just removed that one dude who's sitting on that couch. Um, nothing would matter if he just wasn't there. I understand the idea of him is that, oh, well, then you can't go to the windows so easily. But at the same point, like, it's making literally everything here hell. Or even just for this version of the level, just remove him, and then when Intravenous 2 comes out, and maybe we revisit Pablo's hideout, then have him there, because it's like the harder version of the level, right? Um, other than that, though, I think generally as a whole, the level's really good. Uh, there's now more reason to go to the left side, I feel like. Uh, however, there's also less reason, because now the objective isn't in the bottom left, it's in the bottom right. Meaning that, yet again, you just want to go to the bottom right. There's no reason to go to the left unless you want, like, we got 1,500 money. Uh, well, there was 1,500 money that we could have grabbed. We didn't. Uh, and then there was also just, like, uh, there was a weapon, which was cool. That was good. Uh, but it kind of just felt like, eh. I think if the weapon was in the firing range instead of up there, it would have led nicer it would have been like oh yeah you want to go through the car system like the car park area and then you go up into the firing range you grab the weapon and then you sneak out like that would have been cool but you know it's what it is but yeah i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day i hope you liked this episode pablo's hideout revisited um not as good in my opinion as the uh, beta version however i think it's still really fun and i think if you're actually picking up this game and you don't want to go for the achievements, this is actually a really good level. But yeah, hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.